Hi guys, so I'm back and I have a new setup behind me. Um, I just got a ring light and I'm super excited because you can actually see me now and I don't have to sit right in front of my window, which is nice. So I can kind of like move around in my room and still get pretty decent lighting. So super excited about that. And yeah, today I'm gonna film a tutorial featuring the new quad that Kathleen Lights created with ColourPop and it's called the Where the Night Is palette. And I'm going to be focusing on this color right here. It's called Telepathy. And so yeah, that's gonna be the main focus of this tutorial. And I saw a bunch of pictures on like Instagram and even tutorials on YouTube and stuff like that using that color, but most people do it with either browns and blacks or they do it with kind of like purples and cranberry colors, which I love, don't get me wrong, I think they look absolutely beautiful, but I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit and do something a little bit different, so I'm going to be doing it with blue. And yeah, I actually, I tried this look out a couple days ago and I posted a picture of it on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, my um, Instagram name is Kendall underscore Rose 95. I'll put it on the screen and it'll also be in the description box below. So I posted a picture on Instagram and I said that I'd be filming a tutorial on it soon. So here it is. Let's just jump right into the look. I hope you guys like it. Bye. Also, just a warning, I have, I just got a new puppy and she was actually my friend's puppy, which you probably saw in my Bean Boozle challenge video, but she's my puppy now because she had to move places and she couldn't keep her anymore. So I have her in her kennel over here so that she won't like run around and like chew on things while I'm filming this. So if you hear any moving around or like barking or whining or anything, that's why, because she's down there. So yeah, um, let's get into it. I'm gonna start out with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just going to be putting that on my eyelids to prime for the eyeshadows. So I'm just putting this all over my lids. All right, and now we need to set that so that our eyeshadows will blend in the crease easier and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be taking the Tartlet Palette by Tarte. Here you go. And I'm just gonna be taking this color right here, up here called Free Spirit. And I'm just gonna be setting my eyelids, but not actually not my eyelids. I'm gonna be setting my crease and up so that we can leave the eyelids so that things will stick better, like the more pigmented eyeshadows, so that they'll stick to the little bit better. Lid to the lid a little bit better. So we're just gonna be setting the crease and the brow bone with that color. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use the same palette, and I'm gonna go in with this color down here, called Wanderer. And this is going to be the first color that we're gonna place in our crease. Okay, and for that I use the Morphe M441 brush. Now, I'm going to take the Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to be picking up this color right here called Dreamer and we're just going to be deepening up the crease with that and focusing it more in the crease and not blending it up so much. And for a lot of looks, we like to Make it darker on the outer corner and it to get like lighter and more blended in the inner corner. So normally we don't like to place a whole bunch of product in the inner corner so that it doesn't look super shadowed and like your eyes don't look like really into your head, you know? But for this look, I want it to be even on the outer corner and the inner corner. So with that color, I'm gonna make sure that I get into that inner corner of my crease also. Now I'm just going to go back in with the M441 brush and that Wanderer color again and just blend out that darker color. Just a little bit. And this is where that eyeshadow that we put on top of the 
painterly paint pot, that's where this is going to help because it's going to help blend these two colors together and make them not look like they're completely separate from each other. Now, I'm going to be taking this new color by L'Oreal Paris that I got, and this is in the shade Grand, Grand Bleu, which is a French color, I guess. Big blue, you know? And it looks like this. Ooh. These, I was actually very surprised by the quality of these. They're really, like, cushiony. Like, they're really soft and cushiony. I don't know. I'm digging it. At first I didn't really like it, but when you build up the color and stuff, it's like, oof, it's beautiful. So, taking this color, we're going to be putting this on the outer crease, or outer portion of the lid and the inner portion of the lid, and we're going to leave a little bit of space in the middle, the center of the lid. Oh, and by the way, before I started this video, I already did my primer, my foundation, my eyebrows, stuff like that, so if you want to know what products I use for that, then I'll put those in the description below. It just makes the video a little bit faster so you don't have to see me do the same thing in every single video, so I'll put that in the description. Alright, and once we have it on the inner and outer corner, we're going to put it through the center on the top part, and we're just going to connect those two together. And then just leaving that little space in the center of the lid. Okay, and now that we have the blue on the inner and outer corners and connected on the top part, we're going to go in with a really stiff like pencil brush type brush. I don't know. And we're going to take a little bit of a darker brown. This one's called Multitasker, also from the Tartlet palette. And we're just going to deepen up that crease a little bit and blend the blue and that other brown together a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back through from darker to lighter. So I'm going to go back in with the M443 brush and the Dreamer color and blend it out. And then in with the M441 brush again and the Wanderer color, and then blend it again. For the star of the show, I'm going to be taking Telepathy from the Kathleen Light Squad. And for this one, you can just take it on your finger and it'll help pack on the eyeshadow a little bit easier. And we're going to pop this right in the middle of the lids where that space is. And then you kind of just want to slightly blend that yellow color into the blue, just a tiny bit on the edges. And if you want, you can also go back in with the brush we used for the blue. Just add a little bit more on the corners, the inner and the outer corners, and just help blend everything together a little bit more. And you might need to go back up into this top part if you got a little bit of yellow up there. And then one last time, I'm just gonna go back into the telepathy and just pop it right there one more time. It's all stuck to my finger. I'm gonna take that same brush that we used that multitasker color on that dark brown and we're just going to run this on the lower lash line. And then with the M443 I'm going to take Dreamer and run that right underneath it. So for the brow bone I'm just going to take that same Free Spirit color that we used to set the um, Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just going to be popping this on my brow bones. And for the inner corners, 
I'm going to be taking telepathy and adding a little bit of that. So just on my finger again, and I'm just going to press this into the inner corners right here. And then a little underneath the lash line in the inner corner also. And then that's it for the eyeshadow. No winged eyeliner, nothing like that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara and then I'll be right back. To contour and bronze up our face, I'm of course using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. <laughs> Perfect. Let me just tell you, I can see my makeup so much better with this Diva Light thing. What's it called? Ring light? Yeah. Makes my life easier. Then I'm also going to be adding a little bit to the top of my forehead, like the perimeters of my face, I guess you could say. And I'm also going to do my nose a little bit, just a tiny bit right here on the sides. I don't know if you can hear my puppy breathing. She must be asleep or something. Yeah, she's asleep. Oh, she's so cute. She's breathing really, really hard. And you might be able to hear it, I don't know. Now, we can go in with blush. And I'm going to be taking the Milani uh, Baked Blush in Luminoso. Looks like this. And we're just gonna pop that on our cheeks. She must be so tired. Oh. We're gonna go in with Becca Champagne Pop, which, <laughs> good for you, Jacqueline. This is now a permanent item with Becca Cosmetics, so. That's awesome, and I love this highlighter, so yay. If I ever run out, I can still get another one. So we're just gonna take this, and we're gonna pop it on our cheekbones. Or on our, yeah, yeah, on our cheekbones. <laughs> oh my god, I can even see my highlight better with this light. Oh. Now I know what it feels like to have my highlight on fleek. Yes. Oh. oh. Oh my god. I'm digging it. I love this light. Thanks, Mom. It's my Christmas present. Then I'm going to take it on my finger a little bit and just put it on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose also. And then also on my cupid's bow. And now that we're done with the face, we can go on to the lips. And I figured a nude color would go with this the best, so I'm taking Milani Lip Liner in Spice. And I'm going to line and fill in my lips with this. And then we're just going to be adding some of MAC's Myth lipstick. It's just a really, really light nude color. And we're just going to be adding this on top. And there we have it. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up for me and comment down below if you have any suggestions or any new products that you think that I need. Oh, I don't need any more though. So maybe you shouldn't do that. But leave some... I forgot I had my candle on in the back. 
I'm gonna burn the house down. But anyways, if you wanna leave comments down below for any suggestions or just to say hi to me or anything like that, then you can do that in the comments below. And yeah, I will leave my Instagram down below for you to follow me on there. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say hi. Bye.